Hey everyone, so we are off to Spaxton, which is about 10 minutes away. Um, we've got a, a, a nice little route. There's a couple of routes actually sort of like uh, bun, uh, bundled together. We've got a little one, we've got a bigger one. The big one's got um, 17 on it, and then there's a smaller route of about 10. And we've got a couple of little bundles and a few, and a few stragglers. So 42 in total. I've got about four hours of daylight left. We're going for all of them, okay? That's the, that's the dream today. 42 caches. It's not gonna happen, but I'm gonna get as close as I can. Come on, let's get moving, let's go. Oh dear Mags, it's going to be a muddy one today. Oh Maggie, we've got to go swimming. Occupational hazard guys, <laughs> just nearly lost an eye making that last shot behind the tree. Look. That was a close one. Random fact for you about Spaxton. It is home to the original grot bag. Okay, there she is. The younger generation probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, um, and if that is incorrect, I apologize. That information has come from my missus, um, who is more local than me. And she told me that earlier. So there you go, go away, look it up. Uh, the original grot bag, if you're watching this and I've got that correct, give us a comment and a thumbs up and a subscribe. Lovely job, my first famous person. Um, anyway, yep, it's going well guys. We've uh, 10 out of 10 so far. We've had a mixed bag. We started on uh, we started on Roxy's route or Roxy, Roxy's ramble. Okay, so we did uh, two, three on there, or one and two. Dropped onto a, uh, the, the bigger loop, which is Sunken Lane, which we're on now. So we're, we're up to number seven on that. We've had a, um, a random cache in the middle called uh, a secret style i think um off the top of my head so yeah we're on 10 we're heading towards number 11 for the day will we hit the full, full 42 probably not um but we are you know we're making good progress um i mean if i could hit 30 today that would be nice and i've made made use of my daylight made use of my time um and then i've got tomorrow morning as well um for day seven um, so hopefully we can get out nice and early and, and get double figures again. It'd be nice. That'd be, that'd be three, three double figures in, uh, in the first week. So that'd be good. But, uh, but yeah, let's crack on, um, and get some more smileys. I miss being fit. I am nowhere near as fit as I used to be, but I'm nearly smiling again because I can nearly see the top. It's just there. So uh, that there, that's been a long old slog up that hill. Loving it, it's lovely, oldie woldie, and I bet it's great going down on a mountain bike, but long old slog from number four, um, number 12, I think. 
No, it's a 12 cache. This is number eight on the trail. So that doesn't seem like very many caches. Um, it is correct though. But yeah, that's a long old slug up there. So about 180 caches each. So times four, you look at, yeah, about, what's that about? About 700 meters, 650, 700 meters of pure uphill. So yeah, blowing a little bit. They love their zebra print uh, tape on this on this route. Snazzy. We're at the top now, guys, and there's um Hinkley Point in the distance. Hinkley Point C. Yeah, you can't quite make out. I can't make out all the cranes there, but there is uh, there's a couple of loops of caches there just to the right hand side of Hinkley Point. So we'll try and get out there the next couple of weeks and uh, take a closer look. See, I don't know how close we can get to it, but it might be worth a look. If, you have, if you've never seen it before, uh, yeah, massive, absolutely huge construction site. So we're at the top. I had to go back down and get the last cache because I was talking to you guys and I missed it. Um, so yeah, so we're at the top. We just had a battery change on the GPS. Maggie's had a drink of water um, of sorts. And we're ready to go. Um, we're on to number nine. And we are unfortunately back on the road. So um, on the road, hopefully get off the road fairly soon. But uh, but yeah, let's go and see what the, uh, the second half of the loop. I think this loop had uh, 14 or 14 or 15 caches on it. Um, I can't quite remember now because there was there was bits of bobs mixed in. So um, yeah, I think we I think we've got four or five left on this one. So uh, let's get these smashed out and then we can um, go pick up the random ones uh, that we missed earlier on. actually startled him he was coming up towards this gate if i've been 10 seconds later we probably would have bumped noses guys i've been wondering if i've been going to see any deer and literally just literally just behind this tree as i've come down here just behind this tree a deer has just shot down his path all i saw all i saw was a little white bump flashing through the bushes um yeah i'm not too far from holford here um on the quantox which is famous for its deer so and I was, you know, I was just thinking to myself, I'm surprised I haven't seen one yet. Uh, just seen the fox. Um, that's probably why the dog's being a bit sketchy. She's twitching and scaring the life out of me, if I'm honest. I'm expecting someone to jump out from the bushes because she's being all twitchy, but that's probably why. So um, I'm gonna go keep going down around the corner, um, see if it's still there. Probably won't be though. Going up it again, guys. That's annoying, guys. I've just wasted a lot of time searching a tree 12 meters that way um, just to find that in actual fact. Uh, the grid is wrong. So I have just found the cache. Luckily, I uh, backtracked a little bit um, and just checked again. But uh, I, I was down there looking for a 35 mil black film tub, um, and I've just found a 35 mil white film tub, 50, 12, 15 meters away. So yeah, I've lost 10 minutes, but um, it's in the bag. Uh, so let's move on. Keep going. How's the eye? Oh yeah, that was lucky that one, guys. Very close. So uh, that's number fifteen on this trail on the in the bag. So we've got two left. So we've got Sunken Lane sixteen and seventeen, um, and then we're back into the village.
Check this out, guys. Little country, uh, little country shop. A few trinkets. It's cool. Just picked this one up on the road, guys. I'm already back to the car, look. And it's already been found today. So I am not the first visitor. It's funny how that happens, but you never bump into anyone or never see anyone. Spooky. Breaking it. I've had a shoe uh, emergency. So my um, my right boot has fallen apart um, back on the hill. So it was flapping about and then I tripped over it. So I've, uh, I've just pulled it off. So I've now only got a tread on one boot. Um, I am just in behind the church. I've just found one of the Roxy Rue. I've got one left uh, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to knock it on the head um, because I've only got I can't be tracking through the fields with, uh, with no grip on my boots because I'm going to have an accident. So um, I've lost count of how many I've got. I'm at 22, 23 for today, I think. I'll have a count up when I get home. I'll put the final number um, at the end of the video. Enjoy that, Mags. You're going to sleep well tonight, aren't you? There we go, guys. Uh, that's the end of day six. Uh, I think... I lost count, 22, 23, hopefully. Um, and I'm gonna have to stop because the bottom's fallen off my shoe. Uh, I don't, what I don't wanna do is damage uh, the, the insole of the boot too much as I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping if I take it to the cobblers, um, they might be able to glue it on, which is what happened to my other pair last year. So uh, yeah, F fingers crossed they can fix it, slap some glue, uh, glue on it um, and it'll be good to go. But yeah, that is, uh, yeah, kind of put a damper on the end of the day. Um, so we're out for four hours. It's now bang on five o'clock. I hit the ground at one o'clock. So um, I've had a I've had a great afternoon. So thank you to the the, uh, the cash owners for placing both routes that I've dipped in and out of today. So thank you to Bargy uh, for placing the sunken lane a series of seventeen caches, and uh, thanks to the CEO that I can't pronounce um, for the half of the uh, the. Roxy's ramble that I've done. I will be back shortly um, to pick the rest of those up. But yeah, if you if you haven't done this, if you haven't done these loops, guys, and you want to do these loops, um, I would advise no bikes, definitely no push chairs. Okay, um, be careful with small children. It is rocky and wet coming up that track and coming back down the other side. There's plenty to look at, uh, as you've seen there. I've seen a deer, seen a fox. Um, I've hardly seen any cars. I think I've seen two people which i like you know i like just disappearing for a couple of hours not having to not have to put up with anyone uh so that's a plus for me um i love a church as you see i've got a church over my left shoulder um and i love free parking that's what it's all about i've had free parking for four hours um so yeah i am one happy little geocacher this afternoon Thanks for watching everyone i hope you're enjoying the uh the adventures Please like the channel, subscribe, and if you are a geocacher already, just tell other geocachers. Get them over here, um, and maybe let's let's get some joint adventures on the go. If you if you fancy a day out, uh, give me a, give me a shout. Let's get it jacked up. Let's do let's get some footage and let's go and have some fun. Cheers, guys.